So we're actually getting a new, brand new tender with a cover on it um, and here in Phuket and we're just over the moon. It's like getting a new car for us because yeah, we use it every day and so exciting. Our tender has been falling apart for probably the last three or four months. It leaks, it, it goes down. So it's gonna be way cool having a new one. Hey Bella. We drove to Shillong Pier and walked to Charlemagne Boats. And Shillong Pier is where we tie up our dinghy when we go ashore. Shalamark is only about a 15 minute walk from Shillong Pier. Daddy. There we go, I'll press record now. <laughs> We're on our way to get our new tender. Oh, Catalpa's getting a little Christmas present. We're here. Hans met us at the shop, then we went with Hans to his factory to see our new dinghy. Here it is, our new dinghy dory. It's a Highfield Classic 340. Guys, we're here with Hans, and he's the distributor for Highfield Boats uh, in Phuket. He's been here for I think uh, so 30 years, years yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and he's been with Highfield from the beginning. Thanks for choosing the Highfield Classic 340 tender with a ball locker as your next tender. I think it's a perfect choice. Talking about the Highfield boat that we have chosen, um, a few of the really, um, I suppose, important for us features by getting the boat from Hans is that he manufactures these um, add-on covers, so many extra features in this boat compared to what we've used to. We've got an anchor locker up here, which is really easy access, plenty of room in there, plenty of room for your line. Um, nice, neat and tidy there coming through to here, which is a really cool feature, is um, the fuel tank up the front. And as you all know, with the weight, with just one person in the boat, your tender tends to ride with the nose up. This really eliminates that problem. Um, so that's a really cool feature, that. Um, and also doesn't slide down. And it doesn't slide down. And the fuel line itself that's underneath the floor is not gonna get squashed while you're diving or provisioning whatever you put inside your tender at the time. Um, working your way down to the transom here, this is really solid. You can see how um, it's really well reinforced. We're gonna be running a 15 horsepower, but it's actually rated up to a 25 for this size and six people. Um, and not to mention just the finish of all the powder coating over the whole lot is brilliant and followed by all the non-slip. It's um, just really well thought out. Um, um, we've chosen to go with this cover that Hans actually um, custom makes for any sort of tender. But for us, the main reason behind this is because we do a lot of diving um, and we're constantly dragging our tanks in and out of the boat and we don't want to damage the Hyperlon tubes. So for us, this is actually really important. Um, to maintain the tubes and look after them. And it looks pretty. And it looks good. <laughs> and it's, it's really well thought out and really well stuck down. It's all Velcroed on right the way around. Fits like a glove. It's um, yeah, really neat. Um, and if we do actually damage these um, covers, um, every tender has their own 
Yeah, every tender has their own template because obviously there's a certain variation with each tender, with each stretch with the tubes, the placement of um, all the Rolex holders and the handles. So that'll be kept for a future um, cover if needed. A good rub strip that runs right down, so you're really going to look after that powder coating. But not to mention that's so solid. So if you do end up um, towing your tender a lot, it's uh, definitely going to stay on. Because it comes with a pull cord already under the floor, ready to pull through your fuel line. It's just one of those little things that makes life easy and keeps the tender really tidy. And for us throwing our dive tanks and dive gear and odds and ends and um, inside the tender, you're not going to get your fuel line squashed. So if you can see, there's like a false floor through the centre here and also with a small amount of water, keep your feet dry. So compared to our old tender, um, just at a guess, I'm saying the lifting points are going to be in the same spot, so that's a real bonus. But if you have a look here, they're super solid. So you've got four internally, um, and another two beside the motor here. Another two solid eyes up here. So your configuration with your davits is going to be really simple to sort that out. Also, there's a really heavy duty rub strake down the side here. Um, super heavy duty so that's going to protect us from any barnacles on jetties or piers or whatever we pull up to and uh, it's rubber based again like the handles um, so there's going to be no delamination between the two surfaces so that should stay on for the life of the boat are you just super stoked right now though i'm just frothing it looks real good you guys like it yeah it looks awesome New car. It was the wrong tide to launch the boat today, so tomorrow we will launch this beauty in the sea. While we were here, Hans gave us a tour around and showed us where all the covers are made to order here in Phuket. Hi, so yesterday we went to the factory with Hans and we filmed and saw our new tender, and today we're going to get it. So we're launching our boat and we're going to meet him over there really soon. So it's very exciting. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. We bought our 15 horsepower Yamaha motor back in Australia before we left about two years ago. And for us, this would be the minimum size we would have on a dinghy. Ideally, we would have a 20 horsepower if we could go back in time. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back to see the truth. As you can see, I was filming quite a lot with the GoPro and there was plenty of footage of us towing the old tender back out to Catalpa. I captured some really stoked faces by the captain and all of us in disbelief that we are now the proud owners of a brand new dinghy. But reality is that footage somehow was misplaced. So you will have to use your imaginations for those images. But what you see here is us, still stoked and really, really happy. Dory is dreamy. So today is really exciting. We've got, um, we're getting off Catalfa and we're going to stay in a fancy hotel. Our bags are packed. Everybody's hiding from the camera. <laughs> Everyone's excited. We're gonna go be fancy for a week. So join us next time as we have an unbelievably awesome Christmas with our friends in Phuket.
It all comes all thanks to you all. Thank you to all our patrons. These videos are possible because of you guys. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you like that video, please leave a big thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want to see our videos when they first come out, you can press the little notification bell. And also, if you want to see where we are in real time, you can go over to Instagram and Facebook at Salem Catalpa. And what else helps is leaving us a comment. Oh, you can't leave us a comment. That's right, YouTube has disabled our comments. We have nothing to do with it, but because we have these little tackers inside the video, we can't now receive your comments. So if you'd like to talk to us, please head over to our Facebook page and our Instagram page. You can talk to us there. Um, we are super bummed that they are no longer allowing us to have comments. See, next time we've got a few videos uploading this week. So if you are a patron, you are going to be ahead of everybody else. If you want to become a patron, you can go to our website at www sailingcadelpha.com and you can sign up there or you can see what we're all about. We've got some other information on there as well. So head over there and check it out. Uh, we just wanted to say we love you and thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.